third person god, bro. He just stopped there on the stairs. Sit down, buddy. Sheesh. This was gonna come at me at a shotgun. One of 28. So, uh, what's up guys? It's here here by Nino Quadji and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the third person mode that actually just released today in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I managed to get into this mode and drop an easy 30 plus gun streak, which means that I got a tactical nuke or the juggernaut medal. This third person mode is really, really fun. And in today's video, I'm going to give you guys the absolutely best class setup to dominate this mode in. A secret setting that will improve your gameplay in the third person mode specifically, as well as a nice little tip on how to maneuver third person mode as well. So if you guys are excited for all that, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe, and turn on those post noties. Also wanted to give a quick shout out to the Noti gang. You guys have been holding it down here on the Hero channel and I appreciate you guys immensely. If you wanna be a part of the Noti gang in my future videos, just stay tuned on the channel. If you enjoy my vibes, my personality, my tips and tricks, and you know, entertaining gameplay here on YouTube, then you've come to the right place. I'm gonna be dropping a lot of Modern for two videos and I just like to give off good vibes. So if that's what you're here for, thank you. Plus we're getting pretty close to 5,000 subscribers. So stick around if you don't mind, of course. With all that being said, let's talk about the secret setting that you should change before getting into third person mode. So if you go into the graphic settings here of Modern Warfare 2, you guys can see that in the view section, there's actually a third person FOV slider. And with this FOV slider, it's not going to be all the way up to 90. So in my freaking personal opinion, don't have it at 70 or any other number besides 90, because if, as, if you have a bigger field of view, you'll be able to see your opponents and it's going to give you a distinct advantage. Those people that don't watch Hero, you know, they don't watch me, and they don't know about this setting, and they haven't changed this setting, then that means you're gonna have an advantage over them because they're gonna be stuck on a lower FOV. So that's how I'm able to just pretty much body fools because I have a bigger field of view, which is very key in this mode. Another really big tip that's not really stated anywhere in the game is that you can actually change your perspective in third person mode. Like you're either gonna be looking with a leftwards angle or a rightwards angle. In order to change that angle, all you gotta do is press L3 on your controller which is uh, the, the left control stick. So just click it uh, in, within the game, of course, when you're standing still and you'll be able to change your perspectives, which is actually really cool. That's helped me a lot in this gameplay and you guys will see so. So now let's get to the class setup that I use to drop a really high gun streak here in Modern Warfare 2 third person mode. So in this gameplay, I use the FSS Hurricane. It's just the SMG that I'm most comfortable with and it does wonders in third person mode, especially because it's an SMG, you move around the map really quickly and it has decent range for an SMG as well. So definitely rock and roll with it. Uh, for the secondary, we're using the side impact pistol, which is the X-13 auto, fully auto pistol, great secondary. Flash grenade to freaking flash my enemies to heaven. Semtex lethal to just body them. Perk package two is gonna have tracker to see my enemy's footsteps, scavenger for ammo, quick fix for quick heal, and ghost to stay off the mini map. And last but not least, we got the field upgrade of dead silence so people don't hear me coming around the map. In terms of the gunsmith of the FSS hurricane, let me show you. For our first attachment, we got the barrel of the FSS X7 barrel, which is gonna help with a ton with keeping it on top of the minimap with sound suppression, and especially that recoil control and wool velocity makes this gun melt faster at longer ranges. The optic that we use is the Cronin Mini Red Dot for that really amazing sight, it allows us to pinpoint our opponents easier. Our stock is gonna be the Ordnance Ravage 8 for that aiming stability, so this gun can be even more accurate. Our under barrel is gonna be the FSS Shark Fin 90 for even more aiming stability. And our rear grip is going to be the phantom grip so that we can bring up our gun faster with that sprint to fire speed and ADS speed. And in modes such as third person mode, you want to get the jump on our opponents. And yeah, using this class setup, I was able to drop an easy 30 plus gun streak, giving me that amazing, you know, juggernaut metal, tactical nuke, whatever you want to call it. And it's a really fun mode. Will I be maining it in a sense? Not really. I still prefer the first person view of Call of Duty, but it's so cool that we can see Call of Duty in a different light because uh, we haven't had this option before since like maybe the last Modern Warfare 2. It's kind of wild when you think about it. Uh, it's a fun mode to mess around with and it's gonna be really nice when the store bundles come around that you can actually see your whole operator skin in game and maybe see some features that you never saw before. Like maybe they change colors because they're reactive or I don't know, it's just gonna be cool and it's gonna give you more bank for your buck 
uh, with the operator skins you're most likely be buying. So all in all, I hope this whole video helps you guys. And of course, stay tuned for the gameplay because it is very entertaining. I was playing with my girlfriend. Unfortunately, I did have her mic audio muted. I did not mean to. I wanted you guys to hear her because she'd be raging funny. So it's mostly going to be me really sweating. So I'm going to have some music in the background. You guys can just kind of vibe and see how to play third person mode and see how I drop this third person tactical nuke. I really freaking love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and see that gameplay. What you doing jumping around the corners like you're a fucking movement king? Call yourself the movement gesture. Because you a clown. No love, no. I'm sorry, man. I know I need. I need. I need. I know I need to lay off the pancakes. I'm sorry. Thank you. Get that flank, get that flank. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like barely heard him. You have to be so freaking on point when it comes to this whole third person shit. I tried... Yeah, I tried jumping a ton because you get way more coverage of your screen that way. Where the hell did he go? Oh, we're freaking winning by too much now. Ah, <sighs> freaking loser teammates, bro. I'm gonna let them try to get to the hard point. I know, it's just, it's... It's just like they need a whole point. Our teammates keep uh, capping. Game's gonna end like faster than usual. It's just like it's easy to get kills though, because for that reason. I just wish these teammates didn't play objective. Good shit. Keep it moving. They're all spawning there. Yeah, you maybe have one more dude around you. I took like three of them out. Uh, spawns might have flipped. Coming from the middle. Bro, this third person point of view is actually really good. 
Just who was gonna come at me at a shotgun. One of twenty-eight. <clears throat> Using my perspectives. But there's one dude over here He's scaring me. Bruh, where the fuck are they? I fucked that up. Hold on. Let me get these dudes in this corner. <gasps> UAV, yes, yes. Let me get this flank. Okay, you're perfect. One kill, and there you go. Third person nuke. Let's go. Shout out to my girlfriend, Adama, for playing with me. Just had to go crazy. Let's go. Easy money. Make sure you guys learn to change your perspectives with L3. It, it's really useful. You can only do it when uh, standing still, though. So, like, right here. L3 it out. Easy. Such a fun mode. Definitely try it out. It's, uh, it's a vibe. It's a different way to play Call of Duty. It's like you're playing Rogue Company or... Fortnite or <laughs> some other third-person shooter game. It's pretty tight. Ooh, 35 gun streak too. We out here. <clears throat> Ooh. Easy money, bro. Just had to stay locked in out here. Dude, stay high. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> see that. Four of them came out. GG. That was a really good streak, though. <laughs> and I guess that's game. <laughs> you turned on them, bro. That was beautiful. First uh, play of the game. Yes, sir. Yes, you do. Ooh, okay. You got play of the game, too. What was the play here? <laughs> what was he trying to do? <laughs> trying to dive into those DMs and you just rejected them. 45, 45 and 2, 35 and 6. Third person mode. Easy money. Let's go. I'm in it.